So for this problem, so given these three charges, then to find the net force acting on charge 1, so to find the net force on these charges, then observe that there are two forces. So from charge 1 to charge 2, and from charge 1 to charge 3, so we let force 1 charge 1 in charge 2, and we let force 2 charge 1 in charge 3. So to solve for the force 1 using the column's formula, so k is the column's constant, then times the charge 1 times the charge 2 over the distance squared between charge 1 and charge 2. Then substitute now the values. So again, k is the column's constant. That's 9 times 10 to the power 9 newton meter squared per column squared. Then times the first charge and this micro column that's times 10 to the power negative 6, then times charge 2, that's 14. Micro column, that's times 10 to the power negative 6, then all over the distance between charge 1 and charge 2, that's 0 0.8 meter, then to the power 2, then to find now the value for the first force, so first, multiply these three numbers. So we have 9 times 21 times 14, then equals, divide by 0 0.8 squared, so divide by 0 0.8 to the power 2 equals, so that's 4134.38, then times 10, then for the exponents, so we need to add these three exponents, so that's 9 plus negative 6 plus negative 6, so this is equal to negative 3. So therefore times 10 to the power negative 3. Then for the unit, so cancel these two columns and column squared. Cancel this meter squared. So the unit is Newton or the first force equal so since this one is negative 3, so we can move 3 times to the left. So we have 1, 2, 3. So that's 4.13438 Newton. So this is now the value for the force 1. Then we need to solve now for the second force. So the same formula. Then substitute now the values. So again, k is a column's constant. That's 9 times 10 to the power 9. Then for the first charge, that's 21 micro column or 21 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the third charge, that's 19 micro column or 19 times 10 to the power negative 6, then all over. So for the distance from charge 1 to charge 3, so we need to add this to distance, and this is equal to 2.2 meters. Then to solve now for the second force, so again, multiply first, these three numbers, so we have 9 times 21 times 19 equals, then divide 
by this 2.2 to the power 2. So 2.2 to the power 2 equals that 741.94 then times 10. So uh, these three exponents. So this is to the power negative 3. And the unit that's Newton or the second force equals so since negative 3 didn't move 3 places to the left so 1 2 3 so that's equal to 0 0.74194 newton so this is now the value for the second force this time to find now the net force acting on charge 1 and net force is equal to the sum of the two forces so force 1 plus force 2 so to find now the net force so since force 1 is from charge 1 and charge 2 since charge 1 and charge 2 all positive so therefore repel so force 1 is to the left so this is force 1 since to the left so therefore force 1 must be negative in solving for the net force so force 1 that's negative 4.13438 then plus for force 2 that's q1 and q3 since q1 and q3 opposite charges therefore attract so this force 1 attract to force 3 so to the right so therefore force 2 is positive so plus 0 0.74194 then to find now the net force so we have negative 4.13438 then plus 0 0.74194 equals so the net force is negative so since negative so therefore the direction of the net force is to the left and the net force is 3.39 newton so that's 3.39 newton so this is now the net force acting on the first charge